from Krimo Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Early in May, the South African Reserve Bank started distributing upgraded banknotes and coins, with the coins depicting new sets of plants and animals for the first time since 1989. The upgraded banknotes and coins continue to reflect South Africa's rich heritage and identity while having increased security features to curb counterfeiting. Molinet Arnoldi tells us more. Banknotes and coins must be upgraded periodically to remain aligned with international best practices and improvements in technology. Upgrading banknotes and coins is in everyone's interest as it preserves the integrity of the currency and curbs counterfeiting, which, if left unchecked, drives up inflation and erodes the value of money. Deputy Finance Minister David Masondu unpacks the importance of updating the security features of banknotes and the enormous risks and negative impacts of counterfeiting in the country. The improvements in the security features of these banknotes support the integrity of and the trust in our notes by assisting with the fight against counterfeiting which is essential for maintaining financial stability, investment, economic growth, and confidence in our financial system. The negative impact of counterfeiting cannot be overstated. To reiterate what the governor has already alluded to, currency counterfeiting is very costly for the economy and society as a whole. Counterfeiting necessitate central banks to spend considerable resources in upgrading and improving the security of bank notes. In addition, law enforcement agencies allocate substantial resources to detect, deter, and prosecute counterfeiting operations. Economic agents, that is households and businesses, suffer from a direct loss of counterfeiters and have to undertake costly preventative measures. So without this counterfeiting prevention efforts, not only is there a risk that the public could lose confidence in the currency, but there's a greater risk that substantial counterfeiting could generate an increase in the supply of money, thus causing inflation, basically eroding the purchasing power of our currency with huge consequences for society. I need not to tell you about the cost of inflation on how it erodes the purchasing power of workers poor households, I need not to emphasize to you how inflation also increases the cost of doing business. So indeed, these upgrades are an important development in reducing the potential cost of counterfeiting and preserving the integrity of the rent. The latest design of banknotes and coins with the theme Our Money, Our Pride is a culmination of engagements between SARB and its public and private sector stakeholders, including various associations, government departments and the banking sector. The partners have ensured that the upgraded notes and coins reflect South Africa's rich culture and heritage. To this end, the RAND notes and coins have always represented the country's dark past, from Joachim van Plettenberg's first introduction of handwritten and stamped paper money in the Cape in 1793 through to when banknotes started being printed in 1803. Yet there was no central bank to oversee the printing of money and issuing of banknotes until 1921 when the SIRB was established. Before then financial institutions were printing their own currency which caused instability. South Africa later used the British pound as its currency before introducing the rand in 1961. The rand was named after Witwatersrand, the region in Gauteng that spawned the gold mining economy.
Since 1994, the design of South Africa's banknotes and coins have gone through shifts in denomination, showing different industries and depicting the country's rich fauna and flora. And, from 2012, the venerable former President Nelson Mandela and some of his key life experiences. SARB Governor Lesecha Kanyahu elaborates on the design and security features of the latest banknotes and coins. Important upgrades have been made, principally the entrenchment of the security features on the nodes and an update of the artwork. The preamble to the South African Constitution in micro letting celebrating our constitutional democracy and the South African flag have been added around the Madiba portrait. The big five animals on the back of the banknotes are now depicted with their young, celebrating diversity of age. To further enhance security, the denomination animals are visible in various other areas of the banknotes, including the see-through perfect print registration feature and the watermark. The security thread, as well as the spinning circle, which is visible on the bottom right of the banknote, change color in tandem when the banknote is tilted. The banknote denomination colors have also been adjusted for vibrancy and the tactile marks have been improved to support the visually impaired communities to differentiate between the various denominations by feel. The designs in the coin have been renewed from the last issuance in 1989. Each of the six coins in the coin series features an animal or plant. The 10 cents coin features the Cape honeybee. The 20 cents depicts the bitter elu. The 50 cents illustrates the Naisna uh, Turaco. And the 1 rand coin, the King Protea. The 2 rand coin, our, our national animal, the Springbok. The southern right whale is shown on the five rand coin. The five rand coin includes a latent image that transforms from the word five to the word rand when tilting the coin, as well as the abbreviation sub in micro letting on the inner circle of the coin. While the National Code of Arms and the 11 official languages of South Africa have been retained on all coins, the one rand coin features the national flag instead of a coat of arms. I want to emphasize that the upgraded banknotes, um, Azania, upgraded banknotes, they are not new. The upgraded banknotes and coin will have the same value as the current banknotes and coin in circulation. And I want to encourage the public to transact with them. Both sets of currency will remain legal tender today into the future. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.